Hey everyone. Today I'm taking a look at the final piece of exotic leg armor added in Rise of Iron, the Dune Marchers for the Titan class. For the exotic perk, you've got increased sprint speed, increased movement speed when aiming your weapon, and a tighter turn radius when sprinting, similar to the Hunter Boots Frosties. And they look good as well, but will it wreck? It can, depending on the type of player you are. First up, PvE. You can use these outside of the Crucible, I guess, but it's important to note that you won't get much out of them in that use. The increased sprint speed is nice, but turning radius and faster movement speed in ADS don't go very far in the PvE realm. You're moving faster, that's about it. Granted, that's sometimes necessary, but it's not a requirement. If you're looking to adopt a running gun style outside of the Crucible, you can take a look at these for PvE. Running into a crowd like Leroy Jenkins is honorable, but not very practical. Nobody's going to want you on the raid team. Uh, I'm almost always rocking the armamentarium when I'm playing Titan anyway, and that's about all you need, in my opinion. In the PvP side of things, these come in useful if you love to close the gap between enemies quickly and love shotgunning. I get the impression that most Crucible players these days do, because that's all I ever die from. Uh, I'm not that type of player, so it brought me great mental stress to equip the shotgun and go rushing into fights. The sad thing is, I actually got better at it the more I did it, so thankfully this is only a review for gear and not me completely turning to the dark side. Turning corners quickly was a bonus, as was the sprint speed, but since I was using the invective here with a shorter range than what most people use, the faster movement in ADS actually netted me a few kills that I probably would not have gotten had I not been wearing the boots. Uh, again, are they required? No. You can still you still can't go wrong with the Twilight Garrison or the Armamentarium in PvP, but these boots are quite suited to the task of shotgunning people in the face if you like, which also doesn't seem to be going out of style anytime soon. Overall, I say good for PvPers, not so much for PvE activities. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching the video. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you around, Guardians.